So happening today, the House is expected to vote on a new speaker at noon. This comes two weeks after California Congressman Kevin McCarthy was ousted. The leading GOP nominee, House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan, is gaining some momentum now. However, there could be as many as 10 or perhaps 20 Republican holdouts, which would, of course, jeopardize his chances. Right. He only can have five, I think. Alexandria Hoff joins us live from Washington with the latest. Alexandria, could this be the last time we talk about this? I don't know about that. I mean, we saw 15 rounds last time, and it takes four or five Republicans to stand in the way of Jordan's speakership. He's hoping, though, that a floor vote today will prompt out holdouts to fall in line since those ballots are not cast in secret. Yesterday, the Freedom Caucus co-founder from Ohio made major strides, inching him closer to the 217 votes needed for the speakership. Jordan had already won over several middle-of-the-road Republicans and four additional House members changed their minds last night. Jordan thinks by this afternoon. More will follow suit. We need to get a speaker tomorrow. Um, the American people Stop deserve here. to have their yeah. Congress, yeah. The their House of Representatives working. Um, and you can't have that happen until you get a speaker. So we need to do that. Plus, we need to be helping Keep our, our over dearest over friend again. and colleague, uh, our, our dearest friend and, and closest ally, uh, Israel. We need to help them as well. Look, tomorrow. I felt good walking into the conference. I feel even better now. we got a few more people we want to talk to, listen to, uh, and then we'll have a vote tomorrow. Well, many of the remaining holdouts say that they still intend to vote for Majority Leader Steve Scalise, who abruptly pulled out of the Speaker's race when it was clear he couldn't come up with the 217. Others have said that they will vote to re-elect former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. His sudden ousting two weeks ago caused a fracture, but he has faith in Congressman Jordan. Very good about where Jim Jordan is at. Uh, he, he has been an integral part of, of our team when we took the majority, helping us get the majority. Well, today's uh, floor vote, it certainly, as we were talking about, won't guarantee a win for Jordan. It could be a repeat of January when it took former Speaker Kevin McCarthy 15 rounds to win the gavel, guys. All Indeed. Right. So it's yeah. a gamble. It's a gamble, right? Yes. But if you get right. a floor vote, at least we know who's voting yes and who's voting no. Put them and, then on the he, record. and then they think the thing is, Alex, they think they're going to put so much pressure on those people to break if they're the ones holding out and stopping a speaker or else they're going to do a deal with the Democrats. That's yeah. a risk, too, because I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of these people can be bullheaded. Uh, so that would actually make them maybe double and triple down. I don't think they see the urgency. Yeah, you know, there's a possibility, too, that if Jordan uh, can't win the vote, that Democrats and Republicans could reach a deal on a consensus candidate. So that's right. a risk, too, and why this public <laughs> vote uh, might change some minds, but it might not. Right, exactly. Alexander, thank you very much. According sure. to the Washington Post, there are 10 holdouts. Uh, Punchbowl uh, this morning says there are 20. It looks like the, the prognostication right now is that he will lose the first vote. And then uh, some of these uh, holdouts are probably going to change their votes on the second or third rounds. But if it goes longer than three votes, some Republicans are going to start nominating other people. And we do know, the, you know, talk, <laughs> talking about the pressure thing, Brian, um, it apparently is not, to your point about bullheaded or, or just they don't like Jim Jordan. Uh, down in Florida, Republican Mario Diaz Bullard says he's not going to be intimidated. He said he's going to vote for Steve Scalise. He said, if anybody just, is trying to get my vote, the last thing you want to try to do is intimate or pressure me because then I close out entirely. Uh, Mike <laughs> Kelly is voting St Steve Scalise, Ken Buck, uh, McCarthy, Dan Don Bacon, McCarthy, Victoria Spars uh, is simply going to vote against Jim Jordan. And Marionette Miller Meeks from Iowa, uh, she says she's undecided, but she's a no. Lawrence, for isn't it ridiculous? Why would they vote for Scalise? He's not running anymore. Why would they vote it for Kevin McCarthy? This is just delay, 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 and we have a war in Israel. You're so right, Ainsley. It's so petty. And, it, and it, it goes against the point that they were making earlier about the other group of eight that was voting against it and what they weren't putting party first and were voting for the Democrats. Um, McCarthy is not in the race. Scalise is not in the race. Uh, if they go with this consensus candidate, it's going to be major backlash. There's already uh, a lot of reporting from the NRCC saying that they won't support any of these candidates if they decide to do that. There's also reporting saying that the Republican donors are saying they're going to pull out of supporting these candidates yeah. if they don't vote for Jim Jordan. Right. It's just an embarrassment. They don't see the urgency. And it, it, I don't think anyone's ever been on a team sport uh, in their lives. And the thing is, to say, I'm not going to vote for Jim Jordan because he's pressuring me. 
Why wouldn't he pressure you? That's the way you got to do it. You have 217 right. with a four point margin. What do you mean pressure me? My fear is that everyone's got these deals on the side. And if, the, if, all, if Jim Jordan says, I'm not going to do Ukraine, or I'm going to do Ukraine, or the border, or I'm not going to do the border, right. as soon as something happens and they vote against him, Look, they're going to blow it up again. Don't forget this. If you live in an area where your congresswoman or congressman, if they're the ones that are holdouts, don't forget this when it comes time to vote. Republicans need to unite and stick together. The Democrats do it beautifully, and Republicans, for some reason, right. can't seem to. Well, ultimately, uh, the Republicans hope to get a speaker, and, and they hope people will forget by November that when they had the majority, they could not uh, they could not govern. Brian, to your point, and it's a good one, uh, Mike, talking about doing deals, Mike McCall of Texas, uh, the chairman of the um, House Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, said he talked to Jim Jordan yesterday, and they may introduce a big funding package for Israel, Ukraine, which Jordan is not a fan of, and the border. So behind the scenes, yesterday it was all about vote for me because let's make a deal. I got a feeling a whole bunch of deals were made yesterday. It is uh, what a carnival of idiots. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> the land of misfit toys. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.